Hello everybody, this is Evan Irwin from System Improvements. It is July 7, 2006 and today I want to go over the user maintenance dialog in the Taproot System software. Now remember that this user maintenance dialog is not available in the single user version only for those who have workgroup and enterprise licenses. You can get to the user maintenance dialog through the system administration user maintenance option. So when you first choose that option this is the dialog that you'll see currently. You'll see there's a drop down menu of current users. You have the system administrator user, the program director, and the team member, which are the three default users that are always installed. Um, and you have two users here that I've added myself. And what we're going to do right now is add yet another user and explain um, what options are available and what these uh, check boxes down here mean exactly, the security settings themselves. So we're going to make a new user. We're going to give him a uh, last name. We'll call him uh, test We'll call him Joe. So Joe Test. We'll give him a username. Now the username is what they'll enter um, on the first opening screen of the software. Um, we'll give him Joe Test, one word. Give him a password of some sort. And put an email address in for him. Um, if you have your SMTP server, your email server set up in the software and you give this user an email address, they will be notified whenever uh, they are a team member on an incident and an email event is triggered. Um, and those email events are when a implementation is done and verification is ready for a corrective action uh, and a corrective action validation is ready. He's also, also if you have an email address in here, he'll be showing up on the ability to uh, email team members or email uh, a user of the software. So we'll give him joetest at example.com and we'll make sure we check this box to say that he is an active user. Now down here we split up the security settings into two columns. On this side we have what you would label as incident level security for the program director and team member options. And on this side, all of these options are program level based on what you can get inside the software in terms of incidents, audits, sensitive incidents, and the ability to sign off on incidents as an e-signature cosigner. The last option over here is the system administrator option. Now when you have this option, you have the ability to go in and do database maintenance such as backups. You have the ability to basically configure all lists, configure all system options, um, configure what user roles uh, have the ability to do what, and uh, user roles being the program director, what are they avail available to do, what are, the, what are all team members available to do, and you have obviously user maintenance as well. So when we check program director here what that allows the user to do is basically set up all lists if you check nothing else they'll be able to uh, define value lists such as the equifactor lists of equipment um, you'll be able to set up locations and departments for people to be assigned to now if you don't check any of these options that's all they'll be able to do team members will be able to do even less if you don't check any of these options they'll be able to log on and they'll be able to email any user currently in the system that has an email address active. But without any of these other options, they will have no other abilities to perform. So let's call, let's make Joe Test here a team member, and we'll say that he has access to incidents and access to sensitive incidents, which can be marked inside each incident in cases of, of a fatality, for example. And so once he is assigned the correct permissions, we'll save this record and you'll notice that everything becomes grayed out but you can still see the options here and in the users drop down list we now have Joe test as an option here so we're going to choose Joe and edit him and we'll make him a program director instead who can create new incidents as well as create new audits and access old audits and we'll save the user and again you can do this for any user in the system I hope we've all learned something thank you for listening and thanks for using Taproot